Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna work with Mesh Morpher and standalone morph targets. Standalone morph targets are a new feature in Mesh Morpher which allow uh, which allow us to to project uh, the morph targets onto another mesh at runtime or bake uh, the morph targets at runtime and uh, do a lot of cool stuff as well, right? So let's jump into it. So first of all, we will create a morph target that we will export to a standalone morph target. We will work with the queen and Manny and uh, we will uh, create the morph target on the queen and at runtime we will project this morph target on the Manny uh, skeletal mesh, right? So I hope this video will make it uh, very clear how to how to handle all this stuff. So let's create a new morph target. We will uh, go with the name test and uh, open the morph target and just do whatever you have to do here. Just uh, modify, uh, create your own mor morph target the way you want, right? So I'm just gonna create a oddly shaped head for this. Uh, tutorial so I don't have to spend much time on uh, on uh, sculpting the morph target this is enough for our demonstration purpose here let me save okay now that we have uh, the morph target saved let's export it as standalone morph target right uh, it will automatically create a new folder and it will automatically pick the morph target name uh, uh, for you to adjust the append or suffix whatever you want to right so I'm just uh, gonna add here so I know that this is test uh, morph target which is uh, from the queen uh, skeletal mesh right just uh, to be easy to to uh, manage uh, further right so I'm gonna save it and now the standalone morph target is uh, created you can see it in uh, standalone morph targets folder just save so you, you you'll be sure that if something happens uh, with the engine something crashes you don't lose this and uh, this is an empty object uh, nothing uh, this is not empty but nothing is exposed to blueprints and uh, yeah let's jump into our uh, uh projection uh, workflow right so i'm opening the third person character blueprint and here for uh, this uh, only for this uh, demonstration purpose because i want to show you side by side i'm gonna add a new skeletal mesh right uh, a new skeletal mesh component right so in this skeletal mesh component i'm just gonna pick manny as uh, the skeletal mesh and I'm just gonna put it on the side a little bit and pick uh, the animation uh, uh, class, right? Blueprint class. I'm gonna save it. And uh, now let's go to even graph and play. Uh, let's uh, start uh, playing with our standalone morph target, right? I'm gonna add a new variable. And uh, I'm gonna pick standalone morph target. It's just one. And uh, I'm gonna name it test standalone lone morph. Just a random name, you can do whatever you want. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, select an input key node. And when I press one, uh, it will uh, project this. Uh, uh, test queen uh, morph target to uh, the many uh, skeletal mesh, right? So let's jump into it. I'm picking the test standalone morph target, and uh, if I do a right click here, project standalone morph target. We have uh, two nodes. We're gonna test both of them. Let me prepare the other one here. So now we have to uh, select an outer. Uh, this outer is used uh, for the newly created uh, standalone morph targets that are projected on the money, right? What, whatever this node outputs is the standalone uh, morph targets you input 
but projected for the target mesh if uh, that makes any sense right so i'm just gonna create an array here make array and just input our standalone uh queen uh, morph target this is what we exported right so let me grab this and uh, get skeletal mesh or uh, get skeletal mesh right okay let me arrange a little bit these nodes here i'm gonna use the self as uh, the outer so this blueprint is uh, the parent of uh, whatever this node outputs right so here at max load if uh, you let uh, if you uh, let uh, the input at minus one it will project uh, this uh, morph target to all available lod's on the target mesh you can uh, obviously change it. If uh, you go with zero, it will only project for uh, LOD zero, right? Uh, it goes like this. You can put uh, uh, three and it will go just up to uh, LOD uh, number three, right? I'm gonna, oh, okay. I'm gonna just uh, uh, leave the minus one uh, LOD uh, max LOD so it will apply to all of them let's connect this and now uh, we will have a new output uh, promote to a variable uh, you need to make sure these uh, new, newly created uh, standalone morph targets uh, are not uh, going to be garbage collected so you have to uh, keep them in a uh, property uh, this will prevent the garbage collector to 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 destroy this right and now let's go with for each loop we want uh, we want to also uh, bake these uh, standalone morph targets to the skeletal mesh right so what we what we will do uh, this project standalone morph targets only creates the standalone morph targets, but we also want to enable them, right? We want to visualize uh, these uh, standalone morph targets at runtime on our uh, target skeletal mesh. Okay, and now we can set weight. This uh, will uh, just uh, just uh, this will just uh, enable. Uh, the morph target the standalone morph target basically it will bake uh, the deltas on the skeletal mesh uh, render data right so we don't need this we will need this yeah okay i'm gonna set the weight of one and uh, i think this is it so one more thing you can also play with smooth iterations smooth strength uh, you have uh, three different types of smoothing just experiment with them normally incompatibility uh, threshold uh, has also a tooltip it it's uh, it helps you prevent uh, uh, triangle flipping right on uh, projection this is very useful and the vertex uh, threshold uh, it uh, allows you to set uh, the maximum distance at which uh, a vertex uh, finds another vertex in the target mesh right so if uh, you want to be sure you can increase this vertex threshold by like 30 40 just experiment a little bit with it see see whatever uh, value works uh, for you but uh, from my experiments and uh, I'm using uh, the same values in the Mesh Morpher Editor. Uh, these values work uh, in most cases, I can say, right? So yeah, let's uh, let's test uh, the projection of standalone morph targets. Let's compile this. Uh, okay, I think we're ready. Let's uh, let's uh, set the standalone uh, morph target to test queen. So we have a valid input. And uh, I think we're done for uh, this uh, experiment with uh, projecting standalone morph targets to standalone morph targets, right? So this is only one use case. Uh, let's uh, hit play and uh, press one. Since uh, we're projecting uh, the standalone morph target and uh, we're using uh, 
all LODs on the target mesh, it will uh, take a little bit uh, for, uh, for it to complete. And uh, the speed, although the projection works uh, in a multi-threaded mode, the size of the, sp uh, the meshes uh, matter, you know, it's a very intensive process, so it matters. Uh, it really matters how big the meshes are and uh, how many deltas are in the morph target, right? So this is the result. As you can see, we have uh, the oddly shaped head on the uh, many as well. So next thing uh, we want to test is... Uh, one second, let me open the blueprint. Next thing uh, we want to test is projecting standalone morph targets to morph targets. So we are going to use the same... Uh, the same inputs, right? Target mesh. Okay, and uh, we're gonna activate the morph target using uh, key number two, right? Let's arrange a little bit this. So it's gonna be a little bit clear. Okay, uh, same uh, settings. Uh, apply to this node as well uh, with the exception that it doesn't output anything right so the morph targets the result of this uh, node uh, are uh, added to the skeletal mesh directly right so now if uh, we want to uh, enable the result since we have only one standalone morph target we want to enable right so set morph target this is the basic approach. It will generate a, a standard uh, morph target. And just grab, uh, you need to grab the morph target name from uh, the standalone uh, morph target. Morph target name. You have several tools. You can get uh, a specific delta. You can get how many LODs are in this standalone morph target. You can get the number of uh, deltas, so you can get the morph target name, uh, you can get the skeletal mesh this uh, morph target uh, uh, is applying to. You can get the current weight of this uh, standalone morph target and uh, you can set the weight which we used uh, up here. And uh, let me go back. You can also set a new morph target name. We will get the morph target name uh, in our case here. We want to enable this uh, morph target name and uh, set a value of one. Uh, this node uh, requires a specific uh, set of settings in uh, your project. So go to edit project settings and search for more target. Since we're building this on the CPU, we need to enable use GPU for computing more target. We need to disable this value, right? Uh, once you disable this, you have to also restart your uh, Unreal Engine. I'm gonna restart it now. Okay, uh, the engine is uh, up again, and uh, let's test it, right? So we're gonna hit play, and uh, press number two. It's gonna take uh, a little bit for the proje projection, the same as the as with the preview node, but uh, uh, it, it's gonna be ready. You you will see the checkers materials because we didn't enable. Uh, uh, morph targets for the materials to do that i'm going to show you in a second how to enable so the result the skeletal mesh looks right okay it's the same ugly shape uh, head projected on the on the many skeletal mesh right so i'm going to show you right now how you can enable uh, uh, the morph targets on the material where was it characters i think yeah mannequins materials and here in the money you need to enable used with morph targets right otherwise uh, it will display the checkers uh, material just save after you enable this and uh, let's uh, test again for the sake of this video press 2 Uh, let's see yeah this is it as you can see 
the more target works as expected okay this is it for this video guys so let me know if you have any questions and uh, see you around bye